An active preservationist for more than 20 years, John H. Bryan is a hands-on leader who uses preservation as a tool to enhance communities. Thanks to his extraordinary efforts to help protect threatened places and support the effective stewardship of historic sites, Mr. Bryan has made a lasting difference in his city of Chicago and nationwide. Mr. Bryan's commitment to historic sites and collections is in a class of its own. In 2003, in collaboration with the National Trust for Historic Preservation and Landmarks, Illinois, he successfully spearheaded Friends of the Farnsworth House's effort to raise funds to purchase Mies van der Rohe's famed Farnsworth House, ultimately leading to the acquisition of the house by the National Trust at auction in December of that year. To this day, Mr. Bryan remains deeply engaged in the stewardship of this modern icon. Mr. Bryan and his wife also endowed the John and Neville Bryan Director of Museum Collections position at the National Trust, ensuring sustained professional care and management of the world-class fine arts, decorative arts, and object collections at National Trust historic sites. During his 25-year tenure as CEO of the Sara Lee Corporation, John Bryan directed a deep engagement of the corporation and its employees with the communities in which they did business. Also during his time, Sarah Lee Corporation contributed more than 5% of its income to not-for-profit organizations, mostly in the civic and cultural arena. In 1999, Sarah Lee Corporation gave its entire collection of 52 pieces of early modern art, valued at well over $100 million, to 40 museums around the world. In recognition of Sarah Lee's contributions to the arts and culture, John Bryan received, on behalf of Sarah Lee, the National Medal of the Arts in 1998 from President Bill Clinton. Mr. Bryan is equally committed to direct, on-the-ground action. In Chicago in 1990, he developed and led a successful $100 million corporate campaign to raise funds and renovate Chicago's historic Lyric Opera House and its historic Orchestra Hall. In 1996, at the request of Mayor Richard M. Daley, he organized a private sector initiative which raised $250 million and created Millennium Park in Chicago. The park opened in 2004. While chairman of the Art Institute's Board of Trustees from 1998 to 2006, Mr. Bryan led the development of its new modern wing, for which over $400 million was raised. The modern wing opened in 2009. As honorary chair of the Campaign for America's Historic Places from 1998 to 2003, he helped ensure the National Trust's future financial strength. And as an early member and past chairman of the National Trust Council, a group of business, civic, and philanthropic leaders among the Trust's closest supporters and friends, Mr. Bryan recruited dozens of families to join this important leadership group. Mr. and Mrs. Bryan, for over 30 years, have lived in a 1926 colonial revival home designed by the architect David Adler. It sits on the western shore of Lake Michigan, just north of Chicago. The house, its dependencies, and gardens are listed on the National Register of Historic Places, and conservation easements have been placed on the property. The Bryan's home is located on Historic Crabtree Farm, the last remaining farm on Lake Michigan in Illinois. The Bryan's have also given conservation easements to assure the farm's long-term preservation. Few have done more than John H. Bryan to create and preserve our nation's historic places for future generations. This year's Louise DuPont Crown and Shield Award recognizes his continuing leadership and philanthropy and thanks him for his dedicated service.